for some reason, I kind of realized this was laid down, I had my eyes closed, and just can't enjoy the sun. I realized that uh, the way that you say things and the way that I repeat what you say, but I don't say it the exact same way because I explain it in a way that I get it, even though like I know what I heard you say, but what you said didn't really make sense in my head, so I made it make sense for me, so I got what you said, and I said it the exact same way, just differently. And I do realize when I repeat it back to you outwardly, because sometimes that's how I think I speak it out so I can figure it out in front of me, like writing it down, but verbally, I'm just saying, like, I get what you mean, but I had to say it this way, so I get that. It's It's different like sometimes i guess it's best if i give an example like um you say Shh, i hear shut up which just means don't talk unless i am spoken to and you say slow down which means don't move until i tell you to move or you say speak up which means speak up and stop mumbling say announce these words uh, uh, enunciate correctly like sometimes I do overboard or at least that's what they say to me I might be intense but I'm just trying to be enough and it's just wait am I putting too much and then when I back it up I go weaker than I go stronger because I can't take the strength back if I accidentally broke that so whoopsie I'm going too fast because most of the times I think I'm slow or maybe that's just me perceiving me being slow even though I'm just trying to make sure I get done in a timely fashion manner but everything has different time stamps I don't know how long it's supposed to take me to be or to do or to 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 I just move until I can't move or until words break me down to the point where I'm like oh I sorry I can try to play nice but what does that mean clearly that means not to cause you to bleed or break your bones but sometimes playing nice means to communicate back and I was taught if I have nothing nice to say don't say anything at all what's nice to compliment you but if you're not comfortable in your own skin or maybe if you don't like the things that i say or maybe you just don't like to hear it from me then that is just still rude what is nice helping you even though you are more than capable to i'm just saying like sometimes some people want assistance but if i'm doing these things without you or a verbal confirmation or the verbal agreement to then aren't i just being an a-hole aren't i just being a misogynist aren't i just being prejudiced aren't i just being rude we can speak. So why can't we communicate? Why is it we speak the same language but speak so differently? This is what I said and what I said is what I mean. But some people say this but really mean that. And I'm just like, wait, <laughs> subtext? Not always with everybody. Some people are in reality and some people live in their own world. I visit both, and it's just sometimes I'm not quite sure, am I visiting the right one or am I always in the wrong ones? For us to be on the same page it matters none if we're not even on the same book. I'm just saying, like, we could be on the same page. What are we reading? The same subject. Is it the same author? Because it could also be the same book title, but is it the same copy i'm just saying it's kind of crazy the more that you think about it, and i think like i think and you think like you think and sometimes we get along and sometimes we don't and sometimes it's you and sometimes it's me and sometimes it's just the way that we were brought up to think life is a psychology game and i'm just thinking that most to none of this matters but if i'm going to interact with all this matter i might as well try to do it pleasantly try to create positive chemistry but what is positive and negative the charge happens how it's supposed to most of the time i don't feel the charge of the energy in my own i just feel weird in my own skin like i don't belong in the group in this body in this world in this reality i'm just talking i'm not asking for sympathy I'm not asking and trying to be a victim. I'm just saying this is how I think. Think how you think about the things that I think, but I think the way I think, and I try to shrink myself enough to be able to socialize and be like, I know I'm weird. I know I'm crazy. Y'all have been telling me ever since I was three, four, five, six, ever since I could speak, reach, be perceived. I do what I can do to help the community. And sometimes I just think that's leaving or shutting up or lifting up something. Aw, cute dogs.
You guys have lovely dogs. Oh, thank you very much. Not a problem. Yeah. He's kind of dragging because of the humidity. Oh, I just thought he was the older of the two because uh, the first two that he has, they look like they're maybe one or two, and he kind of looks like he's like seven or eight. Yeah, yeah they're brother and sister, and they're two. Oh! <laughs> and we got him. They thought he was four. That was a couple years ago. So, yeah, he might be between six and eight. Oh! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's no right relation. There. What are you doing, Walter? <laughs> what are you doing? What breed are they by chance? Like, they're mutts? They're mutts? Yeah, so they think that the vet thought maybe they were part... Um, Siberian Husky, because they're markets, but they're smaller, so she doesn't know what they're mixed with. And maybe he was maybe, um, she thought maybe he was Border Collie. Oh! Markings, and was some kind of like sled dog because of his tail and everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're adorable mutts, that's for sure. They are. Thank you. Now the problem. I hope you guys enjoy your walking. You too. Have a great weekend. Thank you. six people I've talked to, technically speaking. All of them have been dog people because it's easier to interact with them. I'm still trying to figure out how to compliment other people without insulting them, which is weird because, I don't know, I have that issue as well when people give me compliments. I'm like, the proper thing to say is thank you. And sometimes it all depends on how you're brought up. It could just be to say nothing. It could be just to say I know. It could be just to say. It could be just to say. But when people compliment me, it's... I try to remember to say thank you, but sometimes it's kind of smile and <laughs> laugh. Just to break the tension, I don't know how to mention. I don't know where I should be, but I want to be in a dimension where I feel comfortable. But that is my job, too. You can't fix me. That is my job, too. I need to regulate myself and energy. I can't be my own enemy. My own enemy. But most of the time, it seems to be me against me, me against me. Sometimes I rage out against the community when it's not really them. It's just me. I'm just being extra crazy. It's just me. It's just me, myself, and I from the start. Me, myself, and I in the work. I'm regulating what makes me happy, what makes me upset. But first, I need to be able to sit in it. It's really hard to break through the, um, if your bones aren't out and if you're not bleeding, then nothing's wrong type of mentality. But at the same time, like, it does work. Like, your whole entire mind is just the, I said the placebo effect before, but it's like, if you believe nothing's wrong, then nothing's wrong. Like, I am not an average heart patient. But I would say, like, the way I compare myself to other immigrants, I'd consider myself a below average immigrant. Like, yeah, I'm decently smart, but, like, I only know really one language. I sometimes know how to read the room. I know how to interact with the elderly and the kids. I know how to be in rooms and make people feel comfortable, as well as I know how to make people feel uncomfortable, as well as I don't know what the fuck I'm doing to do either one of those. Like, I'm cluelessly clued. <laughs> I'm cluefully clueless. How about that? That makes more sense. It's... It's weird to explain how I sometimes know things I don't. Like, sometimes I really do feel like I'm possessed. And most of the time, I just feel like a robot. Like, I feel as if I'm not being perceived. It's just breathe, 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 pain, maybe, thinking, crazy. Stop thinking about things that aren't presently in front of me. I'm out here, not in the... That is the past, maybe, thinking about a future. But we need to be more present-minded when we're thinking. I'm right here touching the grass with my hands and feet. Stop thinking about things that may or may never be realities, whatever you